It's gonna be legend, wait for it. Greetings gamers and welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm your host Carmen Monroe and I'm gonna make you wait for it. If you're new, be sure you like and subscribe for daily gaming content. And while you do that, I'll get started with today's list of the Top 10 PC Creepypastas. Roll the intro. In the 10, Windows. I'm afraid to look at my computer at night. This is normal, right? Is it just paranoia? You don't want to look at your computer and come face to face with an abhorrent creature in the reflection of the monitor. But it's just paranoia, right? Too much time on creepypasta subreddits and too many scary movies, right? It has to be. Occasionally, during a loading screen, you'll see your reflection. Sometimes you look behind you at the background for no reason. But you never expect to see someone standing behind you. It's just you and your friend. He's sleeping. You think you see a shadow, but then you look and it's gone. You blink, then hear a loud thud. You open your eyes and you see your friend's body hanging behind you. You're horrified. It's then that you realize that only one moment ago your friend was in bed behind you. You look to see someone laying there, but that isn't your friend. And at 9, are you still there? This is a long one, but worth the read. This story from Mike McD is based like a chat room, where one friend is always idle, but then starts asking some weird questions. He says his neighborhood is gone, like he's in a pool of black. His house is there, but nothing else, and it started after he had critiqued some scary paintings from another one of their friends. The other protagonists think he's tripping and head over to his house, but in its place is just a foundation. As if someone had picked it up and moved it. The painter's house was missing too, but they were still able to communicate. The critic warned them, saying not to come over because the monsters will have their scent. Then he gets removed from the chat room. Then one friend ends up having his house vanish too, but the last friend is smart. He's trying to find a way to get them out. He packs up his computer and gets in his van, but the headlights stop working, and he can hear scratching. And it ate my new PC. My mom and I live in a little house with our neighbor Mr. NPC. I call him that because those are his initials. One day my mom opened the door and NPC was there, and gives me a new Windows Vista PC. I take it up to my room and he joins my mother in the kitchen, then boom! A gun goes off and my mom is on the ground, dead. Soon the police show up and ask me where I got the PC. I just said Mr. NPC and he's probably the one who killed my mom. But then they tell me he's been dead for 5 years. 20 years later I move into my new apartment. A box in the corner was labeled NPC. When I open it, I was shocked to see my old PC smashed into 80 pieces. The processor had survived so I plugged it into my new PC and needed a new one anyway. I started but it had no sound. The only thing on the computer was a folder called npc.exe. I opened it and it contained a video. I played it and it was Mr. NPC. He started speaking. Hello, you may remember me as NPC, but this wasn't me. I was a voodoo user and had accidentally cursed myself to live forever. All I had to do was bind my soul to an object and then give it to my firstborn son. Soon after I met your mother and we got married. I had you five years later and finally could die. I was only alive long enough to be able to give you that PC, but you treated it so poorly that now you have the curse. You must pass it on. The video cuts to black. Windows Vista, man. That, that's what it does to you. Vista, not even once. And at 7, Hope. Whatever keeps on happening, I don't think will ever stop. When I say this word, my PC does restart. Is this good or is this bad? I don't really know. I hear a knock, they're at my door. Who could this be? If it's who's controlling this, I hope they're not here for me. Gotta throw in those poems, right? I think it's like a staple for me at this point. And in 6, Natas NPC. There are a wide array of PC brands out there. Dell, Alienware, and Asus, just to name a few. Then there are the small brands that really nobody knows about. I like those ones, typically fast customer service and decent prices for good computers. There was this one company who had only one model. Natus had their exclusive Atnus PC. I was looking for an upgrade anyway so I bought it. And it looked bad to the bone. It had a sweet wrap like brimstone or sweet red gravel. I now know that it was the floor of hell. I didn't know it at the time, but Natus and Atnus are anagrams, meaning they can spell other words using the letters within them. And they can both spell Satan. This computer, while bomb, was overheating constantly, and whenever it was, the computer would obviously slow down dramatically. Eventually, I had to sell it because it got so bad, and the person I sold it to said that they would install liquid cooling and that should fix it. This computer had to have been a portal to hell or something because the liquid ended up evaporating instantly. He tried to return it, but there was no way I was taking it back. I had told him about the issue before selling it, so there was nothing he could do. Eventually, he just left it on my doorstep and I brought it inside. But when I woke up, everything around me was burnt. 
as if it had been on fire for hours, but nothing was completely gone. I head out to my living room and a ball of smoke was floating. As I see it, it shoots back into the computer, gone forever. And at 5, Jealous. Promise me that from now on, when you watch Netflix, you'll do it on a TV, not your PC. I was visiting my parents for the holidays and they don't have any system that connects to Netflix. So when I wanted to get caught up on my shows, I needed to use the desktop computer they had in my old room. God, I regret it. After a few episodes, the show kept buffering, so I would keep restarting Netflix to see if that would work, but it didn't. I then went to ask who was hogging the bandwidth, but everyone else was asleep. And I checked, and no other device that was connected to the internet was actually using the Wi-Fi. The computer would randomly shut down Netflix as well, and boot up one of my old games, whether it be Roblox or Minecraft. I don't know why, but I think this PC was jealous. Jealous that I left it, and when I came back I was only using it for Netflix instead of my old games. Needless to say, I left in the morning and warned my parents about using that damn thing. And for user 2. When you set up a new PC, you create your user, the main user of the computer and most likely the only user to be on that system, unless you bought it for a family. However, in my case, I was the only one to use it. After around a month of having the computer, somehow a second user had appeared. It had no special name, just user2, and it had a password. I tried using all my usual passwords, but none of them worked. The user kept changing as well, different profile pictures as well as files that I could see through my account since I was the admin, but I really got worried when it started messing with my games. I've been playing a lot of Skyrim together, a multiplayer mod for Skyrim that allows you to join servers with random people on it, like any usual MMORPG. But when I joined, a player called User2 joined as well. I know my friend wasn't playing a trick on me because nobody had touched this computer, so how would they have added a user? And my apartment is so small I hardly have people over, and if they are over it's only for a short time. My computer still has the user on it and whenever I'm playing online, a User2 always shows up. But when I'm with my friends, they can't see it. Are they playing a joke on me too, or is this computer something else? In a 3 repairs. Now I consider myself a bit of a handyman. Actually, scratch that. I was a handyman. I would be the guy all my friends called if they needed a hand setting something up or if they needed something fixed, and I got really good at it. I started fixing more and more things and made a little business out of it. But when my computer broke down I figured I would be able to fix it, and I don't know how, but I made it much, much worse. After doing what needed to be done, I saw that the computer was missing one key piece. It was a piece of metal that helps move the electricity around. So being the genius I was, I managed to stick a penny in the area and that managed to work. I guess my computer had some expensive tastes because soon it caught fire. After I put it out and opened it up, nothing was damaged but the penny was on the bottom. I put it back and go to sleep with the computer off. As I was sleeping, I smelled s'mores and for some reason I slept through the day because everything is dark. And at 2, 24k. Typically, the general population does not want no-name computer parts, but after I found a graphics card for cheap that promised a 24K display, I had to do it. I hadn't even heard of 24K before now. People thought it was a scam, but I had faith. After installing the card, I was able to load up all my games. They were beautiful. I got so immersed so quickly. But what I didn't realize is that they were real. This card had somehow brought these games to life, and that's why they were so immersive. Oh, and by the way, I love horror games. When I was playing Slender The Arrival, for some reason I decided to leave the game on and go to sleep. I guess I was really tired. I know I was gonna die in the game, but when I laid down in the bed, I saw him. He was standing above me, the Slender Man. He's got out, and now he's coming for me. Finally, in at number one, power on. When you unplug the PC tower, it's supposed to turn off, right? Because for some reason my computer has not turned off for two months. No matter what I do, if I hit restart, it doesn't. If I click shut down, it doesn't. If I hold the power button, nothing. And if I unplug the computer, still nothing. And I know the monitor isn't frozen either because my monitor is off as well. But all the lights on my tower are on. It's starting to creep me out. Wait, what? Now my monitor is back on. It's unplugged. What? What is it doing? Why is it opening Skype? Who is it calling? Oh my god, what is that? It's horrifying. So pale and skinny and those eyes. So dark. I don't know what's happening. It's waving to me. I need to call someone. Wait, wait. Where'd it go? Also, the monster's not me. 
There we have it friends, the top 10 PC creepypastas. Are there any that I left out? Let me know in the comments and remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this list. Thank you all so much for watching, I have been in Shower Man Connor Monroe and I'll see you in another video.